What's going on, fishy friends? Alright, let's do a real quick update, because it looks like I don't have much memory on the phone right now. Uh, today is Monday. Let's see, just got home from work. The last batch of fry, once again, have disappeared. But, got home from work today, and we got eggs on the cone again. Uh, I'm trying something a little different, since the fry didn't seem to be attracted to the parents when the parents were darkening up. I'm trying to take out all the distractions out of the tank, including those black sponge filters. I'm thinking covering them in that white netting might help. Uh, I don't have a filter bag big enough for that sponge filter, but hopefully every little bit will help. Um, got some new additions. Got some juvenile angels at the local fish store the other day. I actually caught the local breeder coming into the store um, with a bag of fish she was going to drop off, so I was able to scoop them right out of her bag. Didn't have to stress the fish twice. I have one angel back there with a fin issue. Looks like he's got a torn fin and he's been swimming in circles for about 48 hours now. Hopefully he pulls through. I cannot say the same for the 10 cardinal tetras I bought. Um, I know cardinals are very, very sensitive, so I put them in this breeder box hoping to acclimate them slowly and hopeful that when and if the fish died, I would be able to find them and at least scoop them out. And out of that eight, I got one left. And I don't know if you can see up there, there's a whole bunch of dead fish that are uh, getting, trying to get pushed out of the box. Um, out of the first eight, I lost two or three on the first day, and the next five since I left for work this morning, basically. Not a good sign. I cannot find healthy stock of Cardinal Tetras anywhere. Uh, we got a couple of Pandacories down here. There's one of them in the front. He honestly doesn't look so great. He's not moving too much. He's alive. Um, and the rest are in there somewhere, as far as I can tell. And what else? I got a few more Reminos Tetra to add to the school. We're up to a school of 13 now. Very difficult to tell. Very difficult to see this tank. Um, you might also be able to tell I did a very large trimming in this tank. I got rid of most of those big red tiger lotus leaves, which were blocking everything out. Uh, let's see, I got about 20 seconds left here. These discus are looking good. These discus are looking great. These discus are looking great. Hopefully that batch of eggs will turn into something. And everything over there is doing pretty well too. Alright guys, I'll check back in. Hopefully sooner rather than later.